hello guys welcome back to the channel today is saturday and last night we i have helped me and anthony helped kb tear down a 6-0 and i'm making a video for i think it's already it should already be out but either way got the trans am and the old military k5 blazer out there the lighting kind of sucks because it's so bright outside but it is there this afternoon once my buddy shane gets in town he has pulled T56 out of his car two or three, four, five times. I've actually helped him do it a couple times. I'm going to wait on him so we can knock it out a little quicker. And he has a clutch tool to line the clutch back up. As you know, I've been having problems with this thing knocking. Everything I've done, not done anything, not getting any metal or anything out of the oil filter. Oil pressure has been great. Been sitting at 40 PSI after running an hour or two, driving an hour or two oil pressure stays great my gut has always been that this noise has been coming from the clutch area so i talked to a couple of gm mechanics over at the chevrolet house that i've known for a long time and i, I kind of bounced back and forth with them because my gut's telling me hopefully and my gut's telling me one thing my heart's telling me another my brain's telling me another my brain's telling me it's a rod knock i mean that's kind of i mean it sounds like it but it sounds a little different um you can actually feel the knock in the clutch pedal. That's not to say it's not coming through the engine per se, but uh, I just, it, the inside of this engine was so clean and the oil pressure has been so good that I swear it's just coming from the clutch and not the engine. But I'm hoping maybe it's the pilot bearing that's making this knocking. Maybe the throw out. I'm kind of not thinking the throw out, but we're going to check that anyways. Um, we're going to check that out this afternoon. Everybody gotta have a shop dog, right? This is Jessie. Blue healer. She is right now. She's seven weeks old today, I think. She's not my doggy, but she follows me around a lot. This is my boss's dog. Isn't that right? Hmm? Huh? Alright, go poop. Don't poop on me. Ah, what do you got? Little hose. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, little puppers. You want a belly wub? Belly wub. Oh, yeah. You gonna help me work on some cars today? Help me work on some cars today? All right, let's go back inside. All right, Shane, what are you doing? I have to yank this trans out. Oh, yeah? So stock. Yeah. This one bolt, I guess you ground it out something. No, if I did. I think I thought a file or something. From a standard socket on there, slightly bigger socket. That damn sure did though. All right, like I said before, we're gonna jerk the trans out of this thing and uh, see if our knocking is coming from there. Tech tip on this torque arm: just take the bolts out right there. And just let it hit the floor. It's the easiest way to do that. <laughs> now, granted, we're on a, we have a lift, but we've also done this on the floor. What? Dump the socket down, get the yeah. bolt out. But yeah, we're gonna take. We're hopefully just gonna take this Y pipe off without taking that off. Pull the trans back, start it up, see if it's knocking still or not. Um, also. I went with the 50 oil, as y'all saw before, and all those additives I put in there. And this thing didn't have a single leak in it until I put all these additives in there. Lo and behold, it is leaking. So, you know, 200,000 miles, it's not used to anything but Mobile One. Change it, and of course you have problems. So. But hopefully I'll have good news here in a second. 
Oh my gosh, guys. You know what that is? <laughs> what is that, Shane? That is a poly bearing. God, I wish we were recording this when we pulled it out. We pulled it out and that thing was just hanging Sitting right there. there. So, good and bad news. I mean, Shaft's not bad. It's not I don't think. terrible bad. Hopefully. We'll fit it to the new one on there and see out what the play is. Oh but, my uh, gosh. Definitely cause a vibration noise. So hopefully, here in a minute, we'll crank it up with trans just out of it and see if there's still a knocking noise. If so, I've just put all kinds of additives and all kinds of oil and stuff in this thing for nothing. And lifters. Yep. Oh my gosh. But it did pull us about 45 minutes? Yeah, if that. Probably less with Bo slacking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good news, bad news. As you can see, she has 200,000 miles on her, but it's not as bad as I expected. And you can see there's no bearing here because it is on the end of the shaft of the transmission it just fell off and there's dust see all this dust right here did y'all see that <laughs> oh my that's gosh. my bearing right there yeah hopefully praying to god the ls gods that this right here is my knocking we put the exhaust back on temporarily started it up see if our knocking's done uh which sucks because that means i'll just have to spend more money buying a clutch and all that good stuff so it's good news, bad news. This is the new bearing on there and it doesn't have too much play. The shaft itself has, it does have play in it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, but it ain't terrible. So we're about to start her up and see what happens. All right, we betting wagers. Anyone, anybody betting wagers? Is it gonna knock? Is it not gonna knock? It's not going to, man. No. It'll be my birthday present if it don't. We'll see. Be Moment of truth. Do the honor, Shane. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Dang it! Sad face. What the hell? I let it run. I'm curious. You laughing at my repair? They're making fun of my repair. My drain broke, so I had to put some glue on it. So. Some late nights up here. Yeah, that's what it's like. Well, guys, I was being very optimistic about all my noise coming from this little guy right here and i'm sure there is some noise coming from that but uh yeah it's still there so obviously i have a rod knock which is what i was hoping and praying wasn't and i kept telling myself it wasn't if it was someone's else car but oh yeah it's a rod knock but you always hope for the best because i mean it does have a weird sound to it as far as the rod knock goes most times i hear them they're louder than this and usually you have oil pressure issues but let me see if i can see in there if you can see that guy right there is number eight and i always expected if it was actual rod knock that would be number eight and lo and behold that rod right there it's hard to show you by myself but if you turn it over and get the piston to where it's going in the downward position then take a screwdriver and 
pry it up on the rod, it moves a lot more than it should. So, number eight. And I mean, yeah, I'll put a four cell sign head on it. And I mean, tell them the truth. AC works good, it drives good. I mean, transmission works flawlessly. Obviously the clutch has seen better days, but 200,000 miles, she ain't terrible for per se. I mean, obviously you'd like to see better. I'd also like to look better another 20 years from now, but hey, you know, shit happens. Uh, so yeah. Bad Sunday. I was hoping for my birthday that <clears throat> the noise would all be coming from that pilot bearing, but it's not. I am going to throw a new pilot bearing in there because I'm here. And I have it. But other than that, I think she's going to go together and we're just going to flat out see what this thing runs with 200,000 miles. Stock clutch. And see what this sucker runs at the track. I, I just I've pulled a many of these engines out of F bodies and it's not the hardest I just I just don't have time I just don't have time and I don't have the space right now I'm in the middle of building a house if I had my house done it'd be a totally different story I could just take it apart put it in the corner put it together piece by piece but <clears throat> I have so many projects going on I'm sure we're going to get a lot of hate comments for this, but it is what it is. 200,000 mile flywheel. I lightly, and I mean lightly, just cleaned it up with a piece of scotch brush. I know I didn't take a lot of metal off or anything like that. I just cleaned it up a little bit. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape. There's only one spot. I don't know if you can see it on the camera right there. You can feel your finger. And it's got some heat spots here and there, but it ain't terrible. Clutch, as you can see right there on the inside where it's showing in here. Got some bad spots, but it ain't it ain't new and it ain't terrible. I mean it ain't down to the studs yet. Back side of it, about the same condition. And this, I did the same thing. Just a little piece of scotch bright real fast speed didn't press on it real hard just cleaning it up there is a spot where is it this isn't a pressure pressure place not as bad right in there just a little bit but hey it's better than just leaving it alone i guess or it could be worse who knows and no, I did not take a lot of metal off of it to where it unbalances it and throws it to the atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna. I gotta go get some red Loctite for the flywheel bolts and start this thing up. And see if I have any other leaks before I put it all back together. Put the trans back on and let her rip. Still want to see what this thing runs at the track. Just for grins. And then I am going to sell it as is. Um, knocking and all. And I'll let them know it's got a rod knock or engine knock or something like that. And be honest with them. I mean, the car is still in good, clean shape besides that one issue. But I mean, even the rack on this thing really, it's not even leaking. I mean... Yeah, it's got some spots here and there from some coming down from there, but racking pinions on F bodies are notorious for just gushing out. But anyways, that's where we're at.